My name is Kalyani Kansal, and this is my path to math. I am an algebraic number theorist, and I work on uh, the Langlands program. Uh, the Langlands program is has been described as a sort of grand unified theory of mathematics. What I love about this area is the patterns. Uh, and I think for, math, for me, math is all about patterns. And when you connect to different kinds of things, it's just you physically expand your mind in some sense. Here at IES, I'm working on spaces that parameterize Galois representations. And Galois groups are certain symmetries attached to numbers. These groups can be pretty uh, complicated and understanding these groups amounts to understanding the numbers really, really well. When I was a young kid, I was pretty good at school, but I was not extraordinary at anything. Math in particular was definitely not one of my top interests. I thought it was something you did if you were interested in other things, it was a tool and not something of intrinsic interest. At that point, I was extremely interested in biology. I got into a medical school, which is an undergraduate degree in India, unlike in the US and Canada. I started a postdoc in psychiatry uh, at Johns Hopkins University. And uh, along the way, I started sitting in math courses uh, in the Department of Mathematics. The first person who, um, who really allowed me to explore this very nascent interest in mathematics was my mentor in uh, in my psychiatry postdoc, Chadi Unike, who was extremely generous with the completely random idea that I should be sitting in math classes when I should be doing uh, research in psychiatry. All the math professors in the department that I took classes with were incredibly supportive, but Steve Wilson, who was my third professor, he was the one who offered me the option of actually enrolling in the department. And so the next year I started my PhD in mathematics I like a lot of detective stories, and I think math is a lot like crime solving. What usually happens is you can find a theory that explains most cases, but not all cases, and, and that's important, that's a starting point. But to truly understand anything, you have to pay attention to those edge cases. You have to figure out a theory that fits them, and, uh, and I think that's something that, um, I guess Sherlock Holmes said once, so Watson says that, oh, the case is getting more and more difficult because there's so many random things and I can't fit them. Um, and Sherlock Holmes says, on the contrary, it's getting uh, more and more simpler because whatever explanation fits them will have to be the correct one because there are fewer and fewer explanations that can possibly fit all the data. That's, that's maybe true for a lot of math in the sense that there's so many observations and if you find a theory that explains a lot of them, then that's what you're looking for. One of the amazing things about I is being surrounded by such wonderful mathematicians. Like There is a sense of pure inspiration that, that, that seeps in. There are people who have done some really, really solid mathematics and it's so inspiring to, to be around them and to be reminded of uh, how much you should be pushing yourself. A lot of doing good math is not about finding good answers, but first finding very good questions. The other thing I feel strongly about is the more mathematicians you see that are from diverse backgrounds. So for me, if I had seen women doing math, it would have made a huge difference to my assumptions about myself. And if anyone can just think to themselves that, okay, you don't maybe have to be a child prodigy or, you know, you can come to it late. You can be female or you can be any other ethnicity or background. I would feel it's a huge achievement if even one person feels more encouraged to uh, pursue math because of this.